Hello everyone. I hope you all are fine. Today we are conducting the webinar on busy for foods and beverage industry. How can we implement busy software in foods and beverage industry? Whether you are a manufacturer or distributor, what are these industry appropriate features that you can enable busy software to implement? First, we will understand the topic with the help of PPT. After that, we will see the practical implementation in the software. So please watch the webinar carefully. If you have any doubts and queries, you can ask me at end of the session. I will resolve your all the queries at end of the session. Now I'm starting the webinar. Please listen carefully. Please watch the webinar, uh, webinar carefully. And you can ask me your queries at end of the session. I will resolve your queries at end of the session. Now I'm starting the webinar. So first of all, busy business accounting software is a GST ready billing inventory accounting software that help you generate tax invoice easily and manage your business, uh, foods and beverage industry for most powerful inventory accounting and GST features with the help of these track inventory accurately and generate hundreds of reports and file GST effortless. So busy accounting software in the busy accounting software, you can manage your taxation, your accounting inventory and your other activity of the business. Graphics are very simple. Busy software is easy to use with the powerful configuration. You can easily implement busy software in foods and beverage industry, whether you are a manufacturer or a distributor. You can record your data, you can record your transaction and view the reports after the transaction. Busy is GST ready software. So you can view your GST reports and generate your GST returns easily directly from the software. You can generate e invoice evable directly from the software. No need to go on web portal. So these features are available uh, in the busy accounting software. You can implement easily now. Let us move to the next slide. So next slide is what are the benefits do you get if you are configured busy software in the foods and beverage industry? So number one benefit is planning. So if you are a manufacturer of foods and beverage items or products, you can plan for production and you can see the shortage of raw material. Let me give an example. Suppose you are a manufacturer of cooking oils item then you will need to uh, you will need the raw materials like seeds for the oil manufacturing you receive an order from the customer of uh, for 100 liters of mustard like uh, in busy software you can check the raw material means seeds are available in the storage for production or not so you can check uh, your raw material is available or not you can generate your purchase order directly from the report if there is a shortage in the raw material. So planning reports are available in the busy accounting software. You can view the reports and you can generate your purchase order if your raw material is shortage. Next point is the production. So in busy accounting software, you can record your production transaction. First, you have to create a bill of material. In the bill of material master, you can set fixed format for the quantities of a finished goods and raw materials. And once you create a bill of material, short form is bomb. So once you create bill of material, uh, once you create bomb, then you have to select bill of material in the production voucher. And uh, you only need to enter the finished good quantity and other details will be picked automatically in the production voucher. After that, you can see multiple reports of production entries. There are multiple reports are available in the busy accounting software. So first you have to create the bill of material. And after that, uh, you can select bill of material. You have to enter the quantity of finished goods at the time of transaction and other details will be automatically in the production voucher. Number three, number three is inventory accounting billing. So as you know that in busy accounting software, you can easily manage your accounting inventory and billing part. Only you need to record the data, you need to record the transaction. Multiple reports will be generated automatically, whether stock summary and 
detail report, accounting, inventory register, and other reports also. So for printing of invoice, we have two options. You know that standard and advanced. You can design uh, the invoice format as per your requirement. You can print. You can design your own. Uh, you can design your own format of uh, invoice. You can print directly from the software. The number four point is quality control. So you can make multiple material center as per quality separation of uh, items and you can see the material center wise report so you can check the quality or uh, damage good quality goods or finished goods so these reports you can manage you can see you can create multiple material center for quality controlling the next point is sales and procurement so in busy accounting software you can record your sales transaction very easily we have two type of vouchers to record sale transaction standard and pos pos means point of sales in standard voucher you have to enter all the details one by one but in point of sale voucher you can fix the field before the transaction and only you have to enter the variable fields and uh, transaction will save very fast in the point of sale voucher so you can manage your entries very easily in the busy accounting software the next point is decision making. So after entering the correct data in the software, you can view the reports and prepare your uh, right strategy for your business. It is very helpful in decision making. Next benefit is customer service. So after entering the correct data, you can provide better services to the customer. After viewing the sales report, you can improve your product quality and quantity also so that the customer will buy your product only so you can provide the better services to the customer after viewing the reports and the last benefit is if you are using busy accounting if you are using busy accounting software then you will be tension free from the compliance and regulation because as busy software has all the compliance reports and summaries available in very easy way Returns, EVA bill, invoice, you can generate, uh, gen, uh, generate directly from the software. No need to go on portal. So compliance are uh, available in the software. So these are the benefits. If you are using busy accounting software in the foods and beverage industry, these benefits you can get. The next is features. So first feature, uh, what are the features you have to enable at the time of implementation? So first feature is batch wise stock management. As you know, foods and beverage have a shelf life and you have to maintain the manufacturing date and expiry date of the product in foods and beverage items. So you have to uh, sell the product before expiry. And because after the expiry of product, you cannot sell the product to the customer. So you have to enable batch wise stock feature from the inventory tab so that you can manage the manufacturing and expiry detail easily in the product the next feature you have to enable is uh, as you know that no matter which software you are using to record transaction accurately uh, inventory mismatch will occur between the software books and physical books because item may be damaged lost physically so in busy accounting software you get a voucher for a physical stock to adjust the inventory you can enter the quantity of item physically available in the material center and match your books with the physical stock. So physical stock voucher is available in this uh, busy counting software. You can adjust your stock. You can match your books. You can match your physically stock with books. The next feature. So production stage wise with bomb. So if you have multiple stages for a production process, you can create multiple bills of material according to the stage in the production process. Let me give you an example. Suppose you are a manufacturer, uh, then first you produce the semi-finished goods. And after that, uh, from the semi-finished good, you convert it, you will convert to final product. Okay. So you can create multiple material center. Oh, sorry. You can create multiple bill of material stage wise. So multiple bill of material you can create and you can view in the report so multiple stages you can maintain in the production process in busy accounting software the next feature is manufacturing and expiry management so at the time of production and purchase of product you can record 
the manufacturing and expiry details according to shelf life of item. And you can adjust the batch details at the time of sale of the product and the report will be generated. You can see which product is expired or not. So all the reports are available. You can manage your manufacturing and expiry uh, details in the item and you can record the data. The next feature is packed and unpacked food item management. So as you know that after the production uh, of the item, you have to pack the food item according to the quantity. Let me give an example for this. Suppose if you are a manufacturer of cooking oils, after production, you need to prepare the oil bottles uh, according to the quantity like 1 liter, 500 ml and 5 liter, 2 liters. So packaging, you can maintain this in the busy accounting software. So in busy software, you can create the additional bill of material for packing and you can record packing transaction quantity wise and uh, you can record unpacking transaction also in the unassembled vouchers. So production and unassembled voucher, both vouchers are available and you can record your transaction very easily. Next feature is raw metal consumption analysis. So reports are available for analyzation of raw metal consumption. You can see the reports, warehouse management. You can create multiple warehouses in material center master and you can view the report material center wise multiple reports are available in the busy accounting software you can see the report as per your need the next point is production planning with deficiency report so you can plan the production and you can see the shortage of raw materials suppose you are a manufacturer of cooking oil items uh, then you will need to raw material like seeds for the oil manufacturing you receive an order from the customer uh, for 10 quantities for 100 quantities for five quantities of uh, mustard oil bottles so in busy accounting software you can check the raw material means uh, how many raw materials are required and what are the shortage in the material center so you can plan the production plan for production and you can uh, directly generate the purchase order from the report uh, purchase order from the shortage raw materials. The next point is barcode printing. So in busy accounting software, you can design your barcode label and print directly from the software. And this is free of charge. No need to pay extra charges to printing of barcode label. So you can generate uh, your barcode details. You can configure your barcode labels. You can print directly from the software and uh, apply in the packing and you can scan also in point of sale. So all the features are available, which is related to barcode printing and barcode scanning. The next feature is available is warning alarm. So this is very useful feature. You can configure the warning alarm according to the conditions. Uh, you can stop your mistake also. Okay. So if you are using, if you are configure uh, the warning alarm feature, then you, uh, then you can stop the mistake of recording transition. As your stock is going negative, suppose a warning will appear when this situation occurs. Okay. So if your stock is going negative, then warning will occur. Warning. You can see, uh, your stock is going negative and you can stop your billing. So you can set warning alarm. You can. Uh, configure warnings uh, according to your conditions like negative cash, negative stock and credit claim, other activities. Okay, so you can configure warning alarm very easily. This is a very useful feature. The next point is voucher approval system. So you can configure the voucher approval system in the software like uh, without your approval, masters and transactions should not be create and print, should not be post the transaction, uh, should not print the transaction. So it should not print the reports also. So this uh, system, you can configure that voucher approval system, but voucher approval feature is available in only enterprise edition, not in standard and not in basic. So you can configure voucher approval system. If this option is required, if this feature is required. And the next point is user level rights. So busy software has two types of users, super user and sub users. You know that super user uh, has all the rights and uh, super user can create sub user and can provide rights according to the user roles. 
okay so super user can provide super user uh, can create the sub users and he can provide the rights according to user roles next is uh, notifications sms email whatsapp etc so you can send the notification as sms email whatsapp bns app etc to the customer or self directly from the software so these features are available you can configure that and you can enable these feature you have to do some configuration you have to follow some steps then you can easily maintain your busy accounting software in foods and beverage industry let us move to the next slide is implementation part so first of all you have to create company so you have to create company with the correct details like your gst number your address uh, your other details your financial year beginning from so all the details you have to enter correctly and create a company after that you have to go in configuration and you have to enable the required options as per your needs after that you have to create the masters like item accounts bill of material as per your requirement and configuration and master part done so after this configuration and master part you can create you can record the transaction like purchase your orders transaction your production transaction you can record your expenses transaction and sales transaction etc so all the transaction vouchers are available in the bg accounting software you can record the transaction as per your requirement and the last is print so after recording the transaction you can print the invoice and you can print the reports and after the transaction the report will generate automatically you can view the reports as per your needs like your production reports and uh, your purchase report your sales report your stock summary and your stock details so all the reports are available you can view this is the image uh, this is the image of master creation window so in the item master window you have to enable batch wise detail option you can see on my screen so after enabling the batch wise option in the item master you can record your batch wise details in the transaction next is transaction so after creation of master you can record the transaction inward and outward so see my screen the first image is purchase transaction and the next image is uh, the bottom image is sales transaction so in the purchase transaction you can create your batch references and in sales transaction you can adjust your batch references see drop down list is showing and you can select your batch references uh, if you select the expired batch then warning will appear the next is print so this is the print image of invoice you can print the sales invoice in a standard and advanced format as per your requirement this is the image of invoice printing after that you can view the reports so what are the reports are available in the accounting software so first batch wise stock report you can see all the batch details like manufacturing expiry details will come uh, in the batch wise stock reports mis reports so mis report you can see like profitability reports your cash flow statement your fund flow statement so these reports are available in ms next is sales analysis so you can analyze your sales according to month basis according to quarter basis annually basis date wise so you can view the reports of sales analysis inventory summary you can view so this is very important report inventory summary you can see the inventory summary for the product inventory books you can see stock summary you can see so all the report with these three reports are uh, belongs to your inventory inventory summary inventory books inventory uh, summary stock summary stock status reports account books you can see like sales register your purchase register so these reports are available and final result and trail balance this is the final report final statement like balance sheet and profit and loss your trail balance report and the gst reports and e returns so you can see on my screen these all our reports are available you can view as per your requirement your gst report you can generate your e-return directly from the software you can generate your e-way bill e-invoice directly from the software 
and multiple reports are available in the busy accounting software and uh, in the standard format. And if you required, you can configure the columnar and custom column report also. So you can design the report according to your requirement. So in the busy accounting software standard and customize both reports are available. You can view. Let's see the practical demo. So PPT is over now. And now let me open the busy accounting software. So this is my software and open company. So I created two companies. First company for distribution of foods and beverage. And the second company for manufacturing of foods and beverage. So let me open manufacturing company first. So this is my manufacturing company. Enter on this. Now see company is open now. Suppose I am a cooking oil manufacturer. So this is my company. So first we have to enable the configuration parts. We have to enable the required option in configuration. So we are starting the implementation part. So this is my company. I'm an oil manufacturer. Okay. So first of all, you have to go in configuration, feature options, and you have to enable some required options. So you have to go in inventory tab. Now see, so first of all, you have to enable packaging unit, alternate unit, enable multi go down inventory, enable manufacturing features, order processing, and the batch wise stock details. These features you have to enable if you want to maintain busy accounting software in foods and beverage. Suppose if you are a manufacturer. So packaging unit, alternate unit, multi go down inventory, manufacturing features, order processing and batch wise stock. So after enabling batch wise stock feature a configure button appears, you have to click on this and you have to select the options like batch manufacturing date input format. So you want full date format or month and year only. Next is batch wise expiry date input format. Okay, so for expiry date, you want full date format or month or year. Warning. You want warning, allow issue for expired batches. So if you are issuing the expired batches of an item, then warning will come or not. You can select the action. So we select allow with warning. The next is warning to be shown. So if your item is expired, expiring, so warning to be shown five days before date. Okay, so you can select your date, uh, select your days, sorry. After that, allow negative stock. So you want to allow negative stock or not. So you can select the action here. Disallow carrying negative stock next financial year. Zero stock batch is a panned list. So these options you can enable as per your requirement, maintain sale price, MRP, other details, and click on OK. And after enabling all the features, you have to save the configuration. Next. So configuration part is done. After that, you have to create the masters. So you have to go in masters, items, list. So see, this is my, these are my items. So we have four groups for item master. Finished goods, semi-finished goods, raw material and waste materials. So suppose I am a manufacturer of mustard oil, mustard cooking oil. So what are the raw materials we required? So mustard seeds and for packaging, we have we required plastic bottle in 1000 ml, 2000 ml and 500 ml. Semi finished goods will be mustard oil. Okay, and the final product is mustard oil with packaging quantity. So mustard oil, uh, mustard cooking oil, 1000 ml, 2000 ml and 500 ml. These three are final product. Semi finished good is mustard oil and the raw materials you, you can see on my screen. So these four are raw materials and this is waste material by product generated. And let me show you the item master 
So this is my raw material. See mustard seeds. You can create the group raw materials and the main unit is kg alternate unit is grams conversion factor we can enter and GST detail GST rate and tax uh, HSN code sorry sale price purchase price and what is the packaging unit so packaging unit is uh, bag you can say Bora you can say bag so you can create the unit as per your requirement as per your needs and this is the packaging unit after that save the item master the next is plastic bottle this is empty plastic bottle 100 ml so this is my raw material item unit is bottle 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 okay and another same see this is for 2000 ml plastic bottle and this is for 500 ml so these four are my raw materials after that my semi-finished good is mustard oil so mustard oil is semi-finished goods we can select the group semi-finished goods you can enter the alias also so main unit main unit is liter alternate unit is ml conversion factor 1000 gst details you can enter here and enable batch wise stock feature batch wise stock option you have to enable in the in these this item master because uh, mustard oil have self life so you have to maintain the self life of mustard oil this is the semi finished goods but uh, you have to maintain the batch wise detail also in the particular item master so you have to enable this option batch wise detail and you can select manufacturing date required batch wise date oh, sorry uh, expired date required both or non you can select the action uh, you can select the options after that expiry month you can enter here next is so these three my uh, final product means finished goods so let me show you so the final product is mustard cooking oil 1000 ml and this is under finished goods units is bottle main unit is bottle and the alternate unit is liter and uh, one liter in one bottle you know that gst detail we can select here and the packaging unit is curtain and what is the sale price you can enter here enable batch wise detail option because we have to maintain shelf life we have to maintain batch details manufacturing and expiry details of this particular item and enter your shelf days like uh, expiry month is nine See, this is for 2000 ml so mustard oil 2000 ml and the main unit is bottle alternative is uh, is deal, uh, liter sorry and the conversion factor is in one bottle two liter and the packaging unit is curtain same you have to enable batch wise stock detail option and the last final product is mustard cooking oil 500 uh, 100 ml same main unit is bottle alternate unit is liter and in one bottle alternate quantity is half liter you can enter the details curtains conversion factor is so in one curtain 24 bottles are available and sale price so other details you have to enable like batch wise detail so these options you have to enable these details you have to enter and you can create your item masters for mustard oil manufacturing next is mustard waste okay so this is byproduct generated at the time of production so you can have to generate the item because you can sell this waste also so these are my item master after that you can create your customer your vendor suppose this is my customer the name of customer and the sundry data uh, this is my customer so we can select sundry data in group and other details we have to enter and save the master and in busy accounting software you have uh, options for item uh, for account creation let me show you so uh, 
if you know the GST number of the party, you can create the party master from the GST numbers. You have to press F4 key, paste the GST number, click on validate GST and see all the details will come from the portal. You can click on update back and quit. Now see all the details will pick automatically, will fill automatically from the validation and you can save the master. So you can create your party master, your vendors in the accounts. And after this, you have to create the bill of material. So in the bill of material master, you can fix the format. Uh, you have to enter the detail of raw material and finished goods quantity. Let me show you. This is my list of bill of material. So see the first bill of material is manufacturing mustard oil. This is my bill of material. So in the first field, you have to enter the name manufacturing mustard oil. After that, you have to select item to produce. So what is your finish good? What is, what is your finish item? So finish item is mustard oil. And for one liter mustard oil, how many raw metals are required? So mustard seeds, two and a half kgs required and byproduct generated means uh, after the production of mustard oil. Waste material will generate in mustard waste is one and a half kg. So you can enter the details. You have to fix the format once, then you can create the production transaction. Mm -hmm. See, so this is my semi finished goods. You know that. Okay. So after production of semi finished goods, we have to generate the final product. So for final product, you have to create the below material. So see, this is for packing mustard oil 100 or oh, sorry 1000 ml and the finished good is mustard cooking oil 1000 ml so in a uh, one quantity if you want to generate if you are uh, generating one bottle if you are producing one bottle then you required mustard oil one liter and plastic bottle 1000 ml one bottle so raw metal you can enter here enter the quantity and all the details you can enter and create your bill of material short form is bomb next is this bill of material for 2000 ml bottle okay so if you want to produce uh, the 2000 uh, ml bottles of mustard cooking oil then raw metal is required mustard oil uh, 2 liters and plastic bottle 2000 ml uh, empty plastic bottle sorry empty plastic bottle one and the next this materials uh, sorry this bill of material for 500 ml so you can create your bill of material once and at the time of production transaction, only you have to select the bill of material, enter your finished quantity and your all the details will pick automatically from the bill of material. Let me show you. So these are my masters. After that, we can create the transaction. So you have to go in transaction part and see this is the production voucher and you can generate your production transaction in this particular production voucher. See, this is my list. Let me show you. So first we will generate the mustard oil okay because mustard oil is semi finished goods and the final product is uh, with the bottle so this is my production transaction of mustard oil so main on 3rd of april voucher number is this and bill of material name is so you have to select the bill of material which you created so manufacturing mustard oil after selecting the bill of material, you have to enter the quantity to produce of finished good. So 1000 liter we produced and see all the details will pick automatically. Cost will come, uh, cost will pick automatically. And this is my item consumed and this is my item generated. So waste item will generate and mustard oil quantity will generate 1000 liter. You can see after that you have to uh, you have to produce the final product the final product is mustard cooking oil 1000 ml so this is my transaction you can see on 4th of april packaging mustard oil 1000 ml you have to select the bill of material if you want to produce uh, the mustard oil in 
thousand liter, thousand ml bottle, one liter bottle. See, so hundred quantity we produced of one hundred ml bottle means one liter bottle. So item generated mustard cooking oil thousand ml, and item consumed mustard oil hundred liter and plastic bottle hundred bottle. Okay, hundred numbers. Next is same. This is for 2000. So all the details uh, you can enter. See date and you have to select the bill of material. So bill of material packing in mustard oil 2000 ml bottle means two liter bottle. You have to enter quantity produce. And all the details will pick automatically. See. So at the time of production, you have to enter the batch detail also. Okay, because uh, you have to maintain the shelf life, you have to maintain the expiry date and manufacturing date. So see, when you enter on the finished good item generated, see after the unit, this window appears and you have to enter the details manually of batch number so batch number you can maintain here batch name batch number you can enter and you have to enter the quantity in liter and ml and mrp you can enter so all the details you can enter see so this is manufacturing date april 2022 and this is expiry date of this generated finished good semi finished good and when you generate the final product see so after the unit this window will appear for batch wise detail you have to enter the batch number uh, your quantity in bottles in liters mrp you have to enter and sales size you can enter manufacturing and expiry date you can enter here and expiry date will calculate according to your month in the item master so see we entered nine months for expiry and see the expiry date will calculate according to the nine months from the manufacturing date so these are the transaction let me create the production voucher in front of you so suppose uh, if i want to produce the mustard oil so first of all, we have to add the production voucher, add voucher, enter the date here. So suppose date is 7th of April and bill of material like manufacturing mustard oil and how many quantity to produce. So you have to enter the quantity uh, generated item, finished good generated quantity. You can enter 100 of liters. See, so you have to enter the quantity expenses. You can enter extra expenses. Now see all the item will pick automatically from the bill of material and mustard oil so after entering the unit this window appear for batch wise detail so you have to enter the batch number manually and enter your quantity in ml and liter mrp you can enter and see so manufacturing date is april and if you want to change you can change so uh, suppose uh, for changing you have to enter month and year so like one 0.23 c the january 2023 so this is expiry date of this particular product particular batch reference and save the voucher after that go in production again so 8th of april suppose uh, you want to generate so you generated uh mustard oil bottle mustard oil bottle in 1000 ml so you can select packing mustard oil 1000 ml bill of material enter the quantity to produce now see all the details will pick automatically from the uh, bill of material and you have to enter the batch number so after unit this window appears and you have to enter the batch number manually and see so you can enter the mrp of this reference say like uh, for one bottle mrp is uh, suppose 240 and the sale price is 210 
and manufacturing date and expiry date will come automatically you can change also and see mustard oil so you have to adjust mustard oil so uh, mustard oil batch reference you can adjust so uh, you consume which reference you have to select so like this reference we selected and see save the voucher and after that you can print the barcode also so let me show you how can you design the barcode so you have to go in add-on print barcode and this window appears and you have first you have to uh, click on first option configure barcode label add the design okay enter the name and uh, label label created and after that you have to click on configure format this window appears you have to select barcode type is item only batch only you can select batch number only and other details like custom sheet millimeter printer details and cut sheet your page is cut sheet or continuously roll number of labels in a one row uh, number of rows in a one page top margin left margin you can enter label height label width horizontal gap between labels and vertical gaps between labels after that you have to click on configure label now see in this window you can configure you can design your barcode label so see this is the company name field and this is barcode label field you can select the field here like this item name so all the details you can uh, all the fields you can configure click on ok save the format and you have to go in administration configuration voucher series configuration and the production voucher select your series click on voucher configuration and you have to enable this option print barcode after saving so after saving the production voucher uh, this prompt will show you and you can print the barcode label after saving of transaction let me show you go in transaction so this is my production transaction see and after saving a voucher see this uh, message box window appears for print item barcode you can click on yes and see click on ok and see so label you can print and you can apply on your product after that so your uh, product your finished good is ready and now you can sell okay so for selling you have to add the sales voucher click on add enter the date enter your sale type select your party cash or your customer you can select here like my customer is threshold trading company and select your item so which item you are selling suppose you are selling this mustard oil cooking oil enter the quantity for selling it's going negative wait so you can select the unit now see so after entering the unit this window appear and you can adjust your batch references so which product you are selling which reference you are selling batch wise detail you can select here so see after selecting the batch reference click on ok and now see apply the tax save the transaction and you can print the sales invoice so see this is my standard sales invoice format and if you want to print the batch detail in the invoice format you have to go in administration configuration standard sales invoice sales invoice and you have to enable batch wise if you want to print the batch details you can enable batch wise option and save the format and after that after that configuration see this is my sales voucher so alt p sales invoice select your format now see so batch details will also print under the item you can see batch number manufacturing date and expiry date so all the details is printing you know that and now see if you want to design 
so you can design also the invoice format and in advanced options okay so let me show you this is my advanced invoice so in advanced invoice we can print batch wise detail like this okay and you can print uh, with your own design also see this is my advanced invoice format so this is my sales transaction you can print the sales invoice like this and after that you can view the reports so go in display so for production report you can see the production reports you have to go in display so multiple production reports are available you can see so first report is production planning so in the production planning report you can plan your for production so oh, uh, suppose uh, you receive the order from the customer of 100 quantity of uh, mustard oil 2 liters 2000 ml bottle okay so you can select the bill of material first so this is your finished good and suppose so order quantity you can enter and if you want to plan for 100 liter bo 100 bottles of 2000 ml mustard oil cooking mustard cooking oil so you can plan in this report click on ok and enter the all the details now see so how many uh, how much raw materials are required with the quantity you can see here so semi finished good is mustard oil and raw material is this so quantity definitions will show suppose uh, let me increase the quantity like 100 uh, 10000 bottles so see the deficiency column the last column so the raw material is required uh, of mustard seed is 48 750 kgs and plastic bottle is 10,000, mustard oil is 20,000. So, this raw material we required, this quantity we required, and the available quantity is 500 in mustard oil, and mustard seed is 7,250, and 90, uh, 9,000, oh, sorry, 900 bottles are available. So, the deficiency part is 9,100 bottles, empty bottles we required and mustard seeds we required 41 500 more this quantity we required so we can press f4 shortcut key see so we can press f4 shortcut key you can note down the shortcut key f4 okay and you can see on the bottom also generate purchase order so after clicking after pressing f4 shortcut key this window appears generate purchase order and you can select the all item or selected item after that this window appears generate purchase order deficiency 100% click on ok ok now see purchase order voucher will open automatically and you can generate your purchase order so from this report you can generate your purchase order directly from the report the second report is production variance so you can see voucher wise report all beyond and beyond means bill of material see so this is my report for production variance so uh, bill of material column item generated and item consume all the details are showing you can see you can see the report next is summary you can see production voucher all BOMs, and this is my production summary So after the transition, these reports will generate automatically. You can view and you can add these report in favorites also. So see, this is the favorite heading and your required reports and your required transaction, you can add in favorite column, favorite heading. So you can directly open from the favorites. Like see, this is my production planning report and all the reports we added in the favorite heading see this is my sales register so all the details you can see in the sales register batch wise detail also and if you want to see the batch wise reports so you have to go and display these the batch wise reports batch wise stock you can see so see this is my batch wise stock 
So all the information you can see, what is the expiry date, what is the manufacturing date of this batch reference of this item. Next, you can see expiring batches. Okay, so suppose until date uh, on 31st of December, so these item batches are expired. You can see the details, you can see the information. And see in the transaction, if you are selling the expire batch, then warning will show you. Let me show you with example. Suppose on 31st December, you selected the expire batch. is uh, the spare batches C. So if you select the spare batch in adjustment mode in the batch wise detail window, so this warning will show you and you can see the warning. You can stop your billing of this item. And you can see the spare batch details report also in the batch wise detail C. And batch reference detail, you can see batch aging reports on account batch reports. So all the reports are available. Order processing report, you can see. And you can configure the warning alarm also. So you have to go in configuration, warning alarm, enter on this. Now see, this is the window for warning alarm. So uh, you can configure the warning on the activities like negative cash. So if your cash is going negative in the transaction, so no action, warning allow and don't allow, you can select the action and uh, warning will show you if condition is occur. So this configuration you can, you can implement busy accounting software like this. So all the configuration in the manufacturing uh, unit, you can configure easily. The next part is, sales report so you can design your sales register you can uh, design your sales report also so you have to go in administration configuration and columnar reports so the multiple reports are available see account register so this is my sales register b um, configure that so we can design the sales register according to our requirement you can add the columns and for stock details you have to go in display stock status closing stock detail all items you can see so this is the detail report if you want to see only balance only so you can see balance only report also all item with both units show packing unit also now see so the stock details stock reports are showing in all the units see So mustard cooking oil, 1000. So how much quantity are available? Is eight cartons and 10 bottles. Total 106 bottles are available and 106 liters are available in the shop. We can sell, okay? So these are the reports and MIS report you can see. So you have to go in display MIS reports and see cash flow fund flow ratio analysis profitability report you can see the batch wise profitability report you can see so see that so on particular batch the gross profit is what is the gross profit you can see in the two last columns profit and loss and percentage and in amount also and you can see item wise profitability report also see so this is my gross profit. This is my gross profit, 40,849. And the final report is balance sheet. This is the balance sheet report and this is my profit and loss report. So we can configure busy accounting software in manufacturing unit of foods and beverage industry. Let me show you the another company. So this is my 
company for distribution of foods and beverage let me open this so this is my company for foods and beverage i am a distributor that time i am a distributor so for distributor we can implement busy so first of all we have to go in configuration feature and options inventory now see this is the window for inventory and we have to enable if i am a distributor then not required of manufacturing feature and we have to enable only packing unit alternate unit multi go down we can enable and the batch wise detail this feature we have to enable because we have to maintain the expiry and manufacturing de uh, details uh, of the foods and beverage items so see all the details uh, we can configure like manufacturing date format uh, expiry date format and other configuration also like sales price mrp so all the options uh, all the required options we can enable save the setting save the configuration after the saving we have to create the item master so see these are my item master so these are my item masters so my uh, first item is coconut cooking oil is 1000 ml this is my alias we can enter the name we can enter the print name alias group is oil unit is bottle main unit is bottle and the alternate unit is liter conversion factor so in one bottle we have one liter gst tax category we can select hsn code we can select and the price sale price and purchase price we can enter packing unit so packing unit is curtain and the conversion factor is 12 so in one curtain have 12 bottles and batch wise detail this option we have to enable in the item master and we required both dates manufacturing and expiry dates expiry month we can enter and save the master so we can create item master like this and after that we no need of bill of material because i am a distributor at that time and after that we can create the customers these are my customers we can create the customer like this my party master name group we can select if this is a customer we can select sundry debtors address country or the hard details so all the details we can fill in the account master we can create account master like this after that we can record the transaction so suppose i am a distributor then we have to enter uh, purchase transaction first and after purchasing we can sell the product so at the time of purchase let me show you so this is my purchase transaction these are my uh, purchase transaction see and enter the date purchase type select your party and enter the item quantity unit after the unit so after entering the un uh, unit column this window appears for batch wise detail we have to enter the batch number first in first column batch quantity in bottle in liter mrp sale price we can enter and manufacturing and expiry details so all the details we have to enter manually because i'm purchasing okay and after purchasing we can create the sales browser so see so after selection of item enter the unit this window appears and we can adjust the batch references let me create the transaction so we have to create a purchase voucher first let me add the purchase transaction on 3rd of april and purchase type is tax inclusive suppose my party my vendor is this and select your material center select your item so my item i'm purchasing coconut uh, or oh, sorry pea peanuts cooking oil uh, in 100 ml bottle so two cartons i'm purchasing so in one carton we have 12 bottles okay of 1 liter bottles and batch number we have to enter manually because i'm purchasing so th this is my batch number suppose pco 1009 uh, okay so this is my batch number and uh, we are purchasing two cartons in what contain uh, one carton we have 12 bottles so we purchased 
24 bottles total and 24 liters mrp we can enter so suppose my mrp is 320 and the sale price is uh, 290 manufacturing date is april or we can change like uh, 222 see so the expiry detail uh, expiry dates calculate uh, automatically from the manufacturing because we select nine months okay and we can change also so p c o this is my batch number 1009 and the mrp is 320 sale price is 290 manufacturing date suppose is second of uh, second february 2022 expiry date we can select 9 22 okay and quantity liter is 24 see price you can enter of curtain and apply the tax and save your purchase bill purchase transaction after that we can create sales transaction so see this is the point of sale voucher so in the point of sale voucher we can create we can add the bill very fastly so how can you configure the point of sale configuration you have to go in configuration voucher series configuration sales select voucher series configuration and enable this option enable advanced point of sale data enable this option click on configure button and you can fix the field here now this field is variable or not so you can configure the field save the configuration after that you can prepare your bill very fastly suppose uh, on 6th of april my customer detail uh, we can enter here like my customer name is pawan singh address other details okay and we can pick from barcode also so suppose uh, if barcode is available barcode label is available on the product we can scan okay we can scan the barcode number and see we can select the adjust all we can adjust manually also and now our bill is ready see so we can print the sales invoice in standard and advanced format this is my text invoice in advance see all the details it's printing batch number manufacturing date expiry date of this particular item so all the details are printing and after the transaction we can view the reports so we have to go in display the batch wise reports you can see the batch wise stocks see so these are my batch wise stock report We can see all the information of batch references, manufacturing date, expiry date, MRP, sale price, all the details will show you. And spare batches, you can see batch reference detail, you can see batch aging, all the reports are available. And GST reports, you can see in GST summary. MIS report, stock status reports. So you can see the stock status report also in all units so we are we can check see so how much quantities are available in the material center you can see in the main unit alternate unit and packing unit and all the reports are available under display heading so we can implement busy accounting software in foods and beverage industry very easily graphics are very simple transaction you can record and you can you view the reports after the transactions these are the this is the implementation part i hope you understood the implementation and for the queries are busy expert just a call away our help desk number is 
five time eight two you can dial email support is support at the busy dot in so if you have any queries regarding this topic you can contact us thank you very much for joining us